Hello everyone, welcome to the explanation. So in previous videos we covered chapter 1 and 2. So from today I'll be starting chapter 3. So this is the syllabus for chapter 3 and it's a full 3 hours course. So first I'll discuss about introduction to C programming and then I'll go to the sub parts 3.1, 3.2, 3.3 and 3.4. Okay. So uh, this is also one of the important chapter and sometimes they can ask questions from this portion itself that is introduction to C programming. So without any delay let's start our topic. Fine, so our topic is introduction to C programming. So before introducing you what is C programming, we should first discuss about who developed or who has written C programming. So C programming has been written, written and designed by Dennis Ritchie at ET and T Bell Lab. Okay, so when it was developed, it was written and developed in 1972. Fine. So it was uh, first of all it was developed for the use uh, use with uh, you can say first it was developed for use with Unix operating system. Later we are now we are using it for various purposes. Okay, so this is. The introduction for C programming and some of the features or we can say some advantages of using C programming we can discuss it so let me write it for you sometimes they, they ask question from this portion so okay so let me start with some features of we can see it as features or advantages of C programming okay so you have to remember these things first feature will be okay first feature is it is very efficient and fast language okay so why it is efficient and fast because it contains a variety of data type and and operators okay so what is data type and operators we will be discussing very soon next second number advantage is that it has a very you know rich library set it has it has a very rich set of libraries for example uh, for print for printing or we have printf you know function the rich uh, system libraries and function it has it contains so that is contained in various header files also it has a number of keywords so we can write here it has a rich set of library function keywords so all these will be discussed in the future. Third is it is highly portable. Okay, so portable means that if C programming is written, if C programming has been written for one computer, so it can run on another computer, another computer without modification or with very little modification. We can say so. It means that. Uh, if it is written for one machine, it can run on another machine also. Okay. So next, fourth number, it will be, it is a structured programming language. Yeah. So this one I discussed previous also, previously also. So structured language means that uh, it has a predefined steps that we have to follow. Okay. So it has a fixed structure we can see. So we can divide that structure in various modules and execute it. So this helps in easy maintenance. Okay. So what is the advantage? It is used for easy maintenance. Okay. Next uh, feature you can see that it is extendable. Okay. Extendable means that you know it contains a number of user defined functions. For example, you have written a code. So you can add some functions to it. It can be extended. Okay. Suppose if I write in a program to add two number, so you can extend that program even to multiply two number by adding some functions we can see or user defined functions. So these things we'll be studying. So these are the five features of C programming we can see. Okay. So this is important. This can be asked for four marks again in exam. Fine, so let's go to another portion. So that is uh, structure of a C programming or we can say basic structure of C programming. So what are the parts that a C programming contains? So we can say basic structure 
of C programming. Okay, so let me resize this uh, size of pen. Okay, so this is good. Okay, so basic structure of C programming you can see. So what all part it contain? Okay, so let me delete this because I need this whole piece. Okay, let me write here structure of C programming so even this question is sometimes asked for four to six marks okay it is very important so if anyone say what is the structure of C programming so first part it contains it consists of documentation section documentation section I'll tell this what are the section so this is the first section second part it consists of link section third part it consists of definition we can say yeah? definition section fourth part it consists of global declaration section fifth part it consists of main program section okay main from here our program starts main function section sixth part it consists of sub program section okay so generally we use the sections for example documentation section we use we use link section we use main function section these are the basic sections that you use we use for all the programming but if you are going to function part or if you are going for detailed programming so all these sections are used okay so let me tell you what are the section so in documentation section we generally write the comment okay so the symbol of comment will be either double line or for multiple comments comment means that whatever you will write in this section like after double line whatever it will you will write so compiler will not see this or compiler will not recognize this this is just for documenting for, so that the user can know what is written here so for example if you are if i am telling you to write a program to add two numbers so here you will write program to add two numbers okay so this is not recognized by compiler so this is for single line and this is for multiple line for example you are writing comment here and the comment goes next line also so you can indicate like this okay link section so link section it consists uh, system library file for example has include okay stdio.h fine so this type of um, library functions or system library files you can link here so that is called link function so it what is this I'll explain in later so for now you remember that this is a function okay so this is stereo.h it consists the library function which consists the statement printf and all it means that the function of printf is stored here in this header file dot h means header file next is definition section so it consists of symbolic constant symbolic constant for example if you are if you want to use uh, the value of pi okay find the area of circle okay so this can be written in this section definition section so what you will do is you will write has okay uh, define pi 3.14 so after this statement here what wherever you will use, use this pi word or pi keyword let's not say keyword so this pi word so it will def it automatically it will take the value 3.14 so that is definition section next is global declaration section so here in this section whatever you will declare so all the functions after this all the program after this can use this declaration you no need to write declare it again and again for example if you declare the value of a equals to 20 so no need to declare this value of a is equal to 20 again in main function it will be used by all the functions so we are declaring it globally main function so here we write our program under curly bracket okay and this is sub program function so here we will write our user defined user defined program okay so this one i cannot explain now for now just to remember that this is the main part of program and this is the user like if you want to add some portions of code so you can write here so this one i'll uh, tell you when you will read the chapter function so for now just remember this sub program sections where we can where it contains all the user defined functions 
fine so let me explain you this with a uh, program so for now we have not uh, studied or we have not uh, learned any program so let me just show you structure by structure okay so this all i'll teach you in uh, detail so for example if i want you to write a program that displays uh, hello okay so first section comment section okay so this this is c program to display hello okay so this is nothing but documentation section documentation section next is has include std stdio dot h okay so this is nothing but link section sorry for my writing uh, this it's very hard to write in this whiteboard uh, i'll try to improve my writing in next videos okay so next is void main and if you want to print display hello so what we'll do we'll print a hello okay so this is nothing but main section fine so as i told you we need this three sections for a basic program writing and all other functions we can use according to our need fine so this is the example of a basic c programming structure i hope you got this now next what we have left let me see uh, let's go to syllabus portion okay fine so introduction to c programming it's that uh, that's it so what all uh, you know uh, id you can use or what are software you can use for compiling the c program so let me just uh, write names of this so generally i'll also tell you some basic features okay so generally we use uh, in college and all they'll give you this software or we have to use this software that is turbo c c++ id okay so this software it is basically an interface we can say it is an interface and it's a, a very i think old software this is so it consists of a screen blue screen i'll type here so it's a uh, very good for learning the program okay because it shows the error and you have to search for the error and correct it okay so next uh, second number is dev c++ so in this video in this video i'll be using this compiler dev c++ for executing the code so it is also a very good id we can see next is code block okay so these are the three basic uh, compiler that you can use so in college in all they use this turbo c++ and you can install dev c++ if you want or code block so uh, description or sorry link for this uh, software i'll be providing in description box so if you want you can install this dev c++ so we will be coding in this uh, id okay fine so i think that's all for introduction to c programming and next i'll be starting uh 3.1 that is character set keywords and data types okay till then stay safe and stay healthy thank you